good evening. Welcome to PJ's. Thank you. Can I take your coat? Oh, I'm actually real comfortable. You have to leave it here. Okay, Colin, take these two. As is the case with many of the restaurants that Chef Ramsay visits, the word has spread in the community, and PJ's is much busier than normal. Hmm. I'm not used to being the hostess. How would you like that cooked? Ah, uh, well, please. Well done? Ordering a salmon. Well. I just know what's good, and I know what's bad, and I know I can handle the job. I know I can do the job really well, because my food is good. How are the stuffed mushrooms coming? Talk to me for two seconds. He literally doesn't talk behind the line. He doesn't communicate with me, especially when it's busy. The worst situation in the fucking world. Eric. Yes, sir. He's got to talk to them. Come on. Eric. Oh, he's cool. Right. What table is this? Shut the fuck up, Warren. Eric's lack of communication has the staff waiting for direction and the diners waiting for food. Just the normally wait this long for entrees? Yes. Yeah. So it usually takes two hours to eat here. From two hours. Two hours from start to finish. Oh, Eric, they're starting to complain now that there's no food out there. Come on, you can do better than this, can't you? You give a shit? Yeah, I give a shit. Come on then, big man. This is a steakhouse, yes? PJ Steakhouse. PJ Steakhouse. Yeah. Pathetic joke. That's what it stands for. Come on, guys. Nobody looks too happy here. Oh, no, we haven't got our own meals yet. Didn't get your dinner yet? No. Okay. For the amount of people we had tonight, it was a ridiculous amount of time they had to wait for the food. That's it. I'm going to drink it. Eric, how long on that 16? Putting it up right now. An hour into dinner service, food is finally leaving the kitchen. Because of the amount of customers, everyone is delivering the food, even Madeline. Gorgonzola? Who is clearly not comfortable with the job. All right. You have this minute. Listen. <laughs> Let's go over this, OK? Not a waitress, not a hostess. I only own it. So I know nothing about the food. I am probably the only person who owns a restaurant in the world who wouldn't know what good food is. That's the truth. I, I left that part up to Joe from the beginning. Give me a glass of shiraz. It's an hour and a half into dinner service. Table 30, all the apps are in the window. Many customers have received food. This is like really weird. But for most, it wasn't worth the wait. It's really gross. You don't like it? It tastes like lemonade. Lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. OK, so I'll tell the chef about the chicken. Can you take this off at table 30? Why? You can tell she didn't like it at all. And what do you want me to do with it? No, I'm saying, can we take it off? I'll have a word with them. I went to check the menu. It's chicken Madeira, and I will have them take it off for you. Well, you didn't even recognize it? OK. Thank you. Thank you. I just don't know how to have better manners at the table. How long on 23? Salmon and the filet. That salmon's fucked. Come on, guys. All right, touch the top of that salmon. It's like a bullet. Yeah, it's too over that. It's only going to come back. Chef Ramsay is standing there and catching the mistakes as they're happening. Look at the crap underneath there. Look at that. Harry, that's well done. Everything just feels like it's turning downward. Touch that there. Yeah, that's not medium. It's a disaster. It was horrible to watch it just fall apart. Come on! No, I can't. It's too much for me. Fucking hell. The um, vinaigrette dressing is so strong, just overpowering. Are you through with the salad? Uh, yeah, I am, yeah. Can I clear that's it? so acidic. Yep. I already know. Did you mention to the chef? Yeah, I, no one listens to me. You knew it was wrong. You told them, but no one's listening to you. Sorry, my life. But why is that? <laughs> Martin doesn't listen to me, and he has an issue taking anything from a female. Does this okay. chauvinistic stance? Yes. Yeah. Some of it. It's absurd. I that understand that. Disgusting. I'll let him know. Thank you. I am embarrassed by the food. I just think that it can all be improved immensely. Martine, your vinaigrette is too vinegary, OK? You know, what is wrong with it? Because uh, we've been running this food for our many years. Martine, you heard me, right? I'm just letting you guys know what he's saying, OK? Thank you, Dad. This is going to be the seafood crepe. I'm going to set that in front of you here. It looks like a pie. 
basically they take the dish, they line it with the with the crepes, they fill it with the items, fold it back, and then they bake it. They're not like your typical French crepe. But why would you call it a crepe if it's not really any crepe? I think when the seafood crepe comes out, it just looks like a slurpy mess of black. Can I have a word with your uh, big brother? Is he here or not? He's unfortunately not. He will be here for dinner service tonight. OK. All right, okay. enjoy. Thank you. OK. Oh. That, that is hideous. It's, it's, it's hot in parts, like in the middle, but on the side there, stone cold. Want me to take it? Is the oven not working? No, the oven's working fine. Can't serve this shit and expect customers to flood through the door. I understand. How long has he been here? The Martin? Oh. Too long. You're not wrong there. <laughs> Martin lost his mojo around here many years ago. If you got someone who doesn't care about the food they're putting out, what do you have? Martin, he said it's hot in the middle, it's cold on the sides, and he doesn't like it. How long has that been under the grill? Because it looks like it's been overcooked. It's piping hot. Is he microwaving that? I don't know, girl. Yes. When normally something's that piping hot like that, it always tells you that it's been microwaved. Can you just check with the chef? OK, I'll check. Listen, thank you. OK, Martin. The quiche is warmed in the oven. Yeah. Hasn't seen the microwave. No. No. OK. Chef. Um, quiche? No microwave. I asked him if he put it in. He said no. Yeah, well, hold on a minute. I'm convinced this has been microwaved. Look at it. It's congealed. It's just like a, a, a rubber puck. Sometimes, if he gets a little backed up, I, I've seen him do it before. Backed up? This is ridiculous. And let's go and uh, meet Martine. Please. It's a food issue right now. It starts from the kitchen. If we had somebody in here who cared about the food, We'd be so much better than we are now. Martin, I want you to meet <laughs> Chef Ramsay. Come around, please. You're the head chef, and everything I ate for lunch, you cooked. Yes, sir. Lunch was a disaster. The quiche was rancid. Where did you heat that up? Was that in the microwave? Oven. No, I disagree. OK. We start on the microwave and then uh, we put it on the oven, yes. So it did go in the microwave? That is right, yes. But you just told me it wasn't in the microwave. Why do you want to lie to me? Do you want, do you want me to lie to you? I'm not lying to you. I'm just telling you how do I do it. I'm, I'm so amazed that you're so laid back and, like, you don't give a shit. Good, how are you? Hi, how are you? My name is Carol. Zach, I'm off that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a cockatoo. <laughs> Three? Yeah. Not a problem. Hi, how are you? Is everything OK here so far? Good. You ready, honey? Oh, yeah. I would like to add meat sauce. Meat sauce? Thank you, dear. Thank you. I don't know, baby, and here we go. What's up there? Everyone's going to be uh, so, order roast potato. How can there be roast potatoes in the microwave? That's the program here. So it just happy once. Has he lost his fucking marbles? My dad feels like he just needs to push the food out real fast, you know? He wants to melt cheese in the microwave. But you can't take shortcuts like that. Well, it's horrible, you know? Food comes out quick. Is that normal? Really quick. Too yeah. quick, I think. Then what would you like? I'll have the uh, ravioli florentine. Thank you. Sometimes salads or soups, and then their main entree comes all at once. I would like the uh, gnocchi. You guys want to do the wings as well? Enjoy, OK? I always nice. call it fast food Italian. Fast food Italian, yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong there. The sauce is warm, but the inside is. It needs to be warmed up. OK, honey. Hey, Brian, can you please warm this for me? Yeah. More crap. Don't want it, don't want a review. That was a ravioli with Alfredo. The pillows are hard. Why do we have so much problem with that? I, I, I don't get it. Brian, yes. the inside's a little bit on the cool side. OK. Go ahead and put it in the microwave. 
unbelievable. Two things I can definitely confirm. The first thing is they're fast. Unfortunately, too fast for their own good. The second thing is when they're fast, they're sloppy. Over 12 dishes have come back, and this place is about to explode. Unbelievable. Is everything OK tonight? Um, I don't know if I like this too much. Do you want something else? It's a little bit too lemony. I'll be right there. Excuse me, I'm going to have a reorder here a little too lemony. Maybe we should stick to one goddamn recipe. <laughs> Maybe we should. Put your ingredients on. A little bit of olive oil. What, just straight olive oil, or you want? Like a carbonated mix. Did you put your salt, pepper, and garlic in here? Yes. Come in through. I got it. I was trying to ask you what you wanted well, to add. If I say calamari mix, you should know what I mean. I didn't hear calamari mix. That's what I said. To see my father not trust me was just getting downright frustrating. I don't know what else to show my father. This is supposed to be black, and it wasn't black, and that's all fat. You need a new steak? What do they say? I need an O. Did you want another steak? Yes. OK, medium rare, blackened. Sammy, you know what blackened means? Dad, I put it on a flat top. I put the Cajun seasoning on. I put it on there, and I cook both sides medium rare, blackened. Is that what blackened is? I do need another steak. Medium rare, blackened. OK, I get very it. Very black and very I spicy. I get it. Whatever. Yeah. Where's the Cajun spice? I got it over here. Sam is like a new puppy that you have to constantly pay attention to him. This is a joke. He's not ready to run the business. Why don't we ever have towels in this line? There's a towel right there. I won't even wipe my There's ass towels. with it. There's towels right there. There's a towel down here. Joe did not like. What the hell? How's that steak on that redo? You want me to cook it? It doesn't come out of my ass, OK? All right. I hope it doesn't come out of your ass. Don't touch your steak. What the hell? Sam, get your ass out of there. People walking out of the restaurant, it was like, this is the end. I think Vic got a dose of reality. He walked around like he was untouchable. So I was relieved that finally somebody else told him that he was responsible for a lot of this. While Vic supervises the cleanup, Chef Ramsay spends his time with a woman who is torn between her daughter and her husband. What I'm really concerned about is what's happening to your daughter. How did it start? Because something's blurring for me. My credit was messed up. So we used party for her credit. Right, too. she was clean. Cleared, yeah. You've destroyed your daughter's credit because now she has no choice. I mean, yes. you and her are in the shit, my darling. I know. Sometimes I can't sleep at night. Do you love Vic? I do, but it's different now, you know. No, before you came here, I said, if this doesn't work, I don't think you and I could be together anymore. Who's more important, your daughter or your husband? My daughter. At this point, you know, I realize it's not, not really a choice. Right now, the only way to show Paddy how much you care is to get involved. Yes. To help turn this business around. Oh, you tell me what to do. Another marriage that is affected by Fiesta Sunrise's debt is Paddy and Don's. Usually, Don drops her off to avoid running into Vic. But on this occasion, Patty asked him to come in and meet Chef Ramsay. Good to see you. you well. Good to see you. I want to save the relationship with my husband because he's really angry at me for getting involved, and it just seems to be spiraling out of control. Um, obviously, um, Patty explained. I'm absolutely furious in terms of the way the kitchen was run, the way the place has been abused, and I can't believe a guy like Vic would try to do so much under your own eyes without even you knowing anything about it. Are you aware of what's been going on? We fight all the time about it. Yeah. He saw it coming, and I said, no, he wouldn't do this, he wouldn't do that. And he said, he's, he's not who he appears to be. No. He's taking advantage of you yeah. and your mom. You know, even mom admitted last night that you had a clean credit record. Oh, my goodness. So that it's, got, it's, that it, got abused. That's in the well, cover. That's one thing I'm mad at. You know, money um, can always be made and we paid back yep. the credit. He just never paid the, the monthly payment on. Do you think you can get more involved in terms of the support mechanism? Oh, sure. When I saw Diane, my reaction it was like, oh, this is Patricia's husband. This is nothing to do in the business. Hi, Chef. Sit down. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it, Vic. I'm trying to understand 
the madness and to how we've been operating. When you knew you were borrowing all that money from family, why weren't you being more honest about where the money was going? Do you know? God, oh, it's not you... clear. Now it is, but when I asked him, are you gonna give Patty any money? No, no, I don't think so. That really doesn't cut it. I believe Don's trying to stand up for me. He feels that Vic walks all over me. You're not gonna give my wife any money? You're gonna I, walk I, away I, with all the cash? Want, you have to go and sell huh? I paid your mortgage here, you jerk off. One month I paid $50,000, oh you douchebag. You don't even have a job. I don't have a job? What are you doing? Pal, I got Pal. a job. Oh, please, you're hunting. You fishing? This is your, your job. I have downtime. I do what I want. Oh I pay my, my bills, God. pal. I pay yeah. my bills. And in fact, yeah. I pay your bills too. What bills? Relax, 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 rel